Hi, my name is Irene Blank and I live in Melbourne, Australia. I design under the name Focus on Quilts. I was very happy and honoured to be chosen by Quiltmania to be their designer for the 2022 History Quilt in conjunction with Art Gallery Fabric, who are excellent to work with. I have named my quilt Clementine. Over 2022, I will be doing some demonstrations to show you all the methods that I used. Now, I love needle tan applique, and those are the methods I'm going to be showing you. But of course, you may have your own way of doing applique. For Clementine, I have used 34 art gallery fabrics. As well, we have some templates for the leaves as well as the flowers. Okay. Part one is these two borders. As you can see, it's very, very scrappy. So just please be careful when you cut your fabrics. I've used 22 fabrics for part one, including the sashing. I hope you enjoy the quilt and of course send me an email if you have any queries. These are some of the products that I use. I use Roxanne's glue to stick all my pieces onto my background fabric. I use Gina Kimball number 10 straw needles. I use Wonderful Thread 60 weight uh, numbers 02 and 15. I use a friction pen to mark on fabric and I always keep a nice pair of scissors with a sharp point. In part one you will be working on squares with leaves applicated onto them. Once this is completed you will sew the four triangles to the squares. So this is how I mark my square to make sewing of the leaves easy. So I place my pattern over a light box and then I place my four and a half inch square over the pattern like that. I take my friction pen and I mark dots marking the points of my leaves. So one in the middle and four on the side like that okay so that this is what your block will then look like the background square will look like I'm now going to show you how I do needle turner applique and how I sew the leaves to the background fabric now I've got a bigger piece of um, background fabric and I've got bigger leaves because I want to show you how to do the needle turn. So we've got all the dots marked and this is how I start. So I'll first put glue onto the back of my leaf. So I just put a little line just like that, not too much. Now I'll take a pin and I'll poke it through the point there and then I poke that just on the center point and I push that down I take the other pin I poke it through there and I'll poke it through that point there just like that yep. so I'll push it down make sure it's stuck and then I just pull that up and I'll push the needle in that way there and this one there just like that yeah okay now we're going to start needle turn I've got my needle here now sometimes if you've got a really um, a needle a 10 or sometimes even an 11 they're a little bit bendy so I keep a strong pin and that helps when I'm turning particularly the points so the needle turn stitch I start with my needle I'll turn under just a little bit just like that I only turn as far as my nail and I come up from underneath and I come up in the fold 
you can see the fold there where I turned my seam allowance under. I take my needle and I pu push it into the background fabric just under where I came up. It goes under the background fabric and it comes up again in the fold. And I don't turn under too far ahead, um, only probably as far as my nail. So I go in just under the fold and I come up in the fold. And um, I have about just a scant quarter of an inch stitches I take. Just like that. And I continue. And I'm going to continue until the point. So I push that in. I still leave my pin in there. And I'm going to pull that pin out just when I come to the point. So we'll take one more stitch there now i take that pin out now when i turn under you will see that i've reached right at the point so my next stitch will come up there and i'll sew just in that dot i'll take two stitches one two Okay, now I'll put my needle there because I want to turn this around and I want to trim away some of that excess. So I do what I call clip, flip, clip, which means I clip, I flip, and you can see sometimes there's this excess there. I just clip. So clip, flip, clip. Now I'm going to use my strong pin. I push in the point like that and then I push in my seam allowance like that. I grab everything with my thumbnail, my left hand thumbnail and I'm going to put the needle into the point, come up a little bit away and continue. Yep. And just take a couple of smaller stitches at the point and continue sewing. So I'm going to sew up to that other point so I can show you how to do that point again. Um, and you can see how I turn just a little bit at a time with my needle. And with practice, it does get much easier there we go and oops we'll just pull that out and there we go Oop. <laughs> always gets caught in stuff and I am doing scant quarter of an inch stitches because I want to finish this next week not next year And a few more. You can see how I turn under with my needle and I grab, as soon as I turn it under, I grab it with my left thumbnail. Okay, there we go. Okay, and here I'm going to just take one more stitch and then I'm going to pull that pin out. And now when I turn that under, you'll see that the point of the leaf is right at that dot. We'll come up there and I'll take two stitches one and that's because i want to make that point really strong two i flip that around i put my needle there i do clip flip and clip there then i turn my point under like that 
oops and then I turn my seam under and you can see I think I got a pretty good point and I'm just going to pull that there and put my needle in the into the background fabric right at the point and I come up a little bit away and that's it okay and you can see we've got a nice little leaf here now if you can see those black lines which are the friction pen drawing don't worry about it when you finish your work um, do all your leaves and then I would take that to my iron and I would iron it on the wrong side first um, and you know you don't you just press it lightly and then flip it over and press it on the right side and all those lines will disappear um, I'll finish to the end there and then I'll turn it over so you can see what it looks like on the other side you can see how uh, I make my stitches just a little bit longer than a lot of quilters there we take it underneath you can see that it looks pretty good and I like to finish it off with a um, I'll take one stitch and then I'll take a oh I think that was that end it doesn't matter another stitch and I just wind my thread around there and then I just cut so that's what it looks like now it's not covering the point because all the other leaves are going to um, come together at that point so i've just got another leaf here so i'll just show you how i would put that one so you just do your glue in the middle again you get that pin you poke it there and you poke it in the middle there push it down that pin there poke it onto that dot there push it down just make sure that they're both okay stuck then you pull that and you put that pin there and you put that pin there and then you start from there to there So now you've sewn all your leaves here on your background fabric and you've trimmed your background fabric to four inches so what we're going to do next is we've got to attach the triangles so before that I like to mark the centers of my background fabrics so I just fold that in half like that and I'll just make a pinch that there and pinch that there and I'll do the same on this side pinch that there and pinch that there and then I'll just get my friction pen and I'll just make little marks there okay now I've got my two my squares I've got two squares and I'm going to cut them in half diagonally so I get my ruler and my rotary cutter and I'm just going to cut that in half now these are your three and three quarter inch squares okay and I'm going to do the same for these ones I'm going to mark all the centers so we've got just pinch there let's do these together pinch and pinch and we probably don't really have to mark these so then what i do is i'm going to match the centers get my pins and i'm going to just match the centers there let me just get that properly there match those centers 
there and there and then match sorry uh, pin that there and pin this end as well and I'm going to do the other side um, match my centers pin the centers there we go one and here that's that one okay so now I'm going to take that to my machine I'm going to sew those seam allowances there and then I'm going to press that and I'll come back and show you what to do next I've sewn my seam allowances and I've pressed it and I've pressed it that way. I've pressed it towards the triangles. Uh, what I do before I uh, sew the other ones, I just trim the tails. I just cut them like that. There. There. And there. And I've um, got my two triangles here. So I'm going to get my pins and just pin them on so match those triangles match those centers there like that match them there as well like that and one more pin here and then put this one on as well so there and one pin there and just two more pins one there and one there and i'm going to take this to the eye to the machine and i'm going to sew those two sides down We've completed this block. We've got all the triangles sewn at the side. Now we just have to trim it to five and a half inches. So what I like to do is I like to find the halfway mark, which is two and three quarters of an inch, and put that there as well as there. Okay, so you put that there, and then you find on this side, you find the two and a quarter, which I think is going to be, I think we got it okay. We, oh, hang on, sorry. We put that there, there, and there. And you can kind of gauge, you know, the little points, little triangles in the corners there. And we'll trim there and there. And this one will be easy we just do the five and a half and five and a half and like there and there and that's it so that's your um, square now when you've completed all you've your eight squares you join them together with your sashing which you've already cut and you join each of the squares with your sashing so those four and the other four and that's it for part one make sure you finish all this in two months and get ready for part two i hope you're enjoying it